Hi Virgo, welcome to Jenny Lynn Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for September 2020. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate, please do check out your other placements. These readings will not always resonate with everyone. Please do know that the energies can also be vice versa. Okay, Virgo, let's get a card for you for love for September 2020. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and vis visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting, Virgo, is there's somebody that you've been thinking about and or dreaming about. Maybe you're wondering why you're dreaming about this person. Maybe you don't recognize this person when you see them. They're coming through either in a dream or um, you've seen, I don't know, they're showing me a magazine. Maybe you've seen someone and they're showing you an image of a person and you're like, oh, okay, why am I paying attention to the image in this? It's to indicate to you what type of person's coming towards you. Um, I think you're calling in someone that is a completely new and fresh energy. I just feel like they're showing me an image of someone's almost like somebody's soul leaving the physical body. I'm not saying that anybody's going to pass. Don't, don't take that the wrong way, but they may remind you of somebody that has passed on. Whoever this is, you're definitely, whether you're doing it here in the 3d or the 5d, I think you're doing it in the 5d. I think you're spending a lot of time in dream space to bring this person in. You may not even be conscious of it. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. Definitely take the time to do your prayers if you're looking for new love. I see you, I see someone kneeling by the side of the bed. So if you've been doing that and doing your prayers and you've definitely been meditating and trying to visualize what it is that you want, you're, you're bringing it towards you. It's coming. I think it's coming quicker than you think it is. So just be prepared. All right, let's see what's happened in the recent past. And then we're going to get some of your energy, their energy. The overall energy is the King of Pentacles. And then I want to see how you're currently feeling about this situation. Okay. So... If you've recently gone through a heartbreak, which is what I'm sensing, or you've broken someone's heart, I feel like there was a circumstance in which someone thought somebody was juggling two people. It could have been that the other person thought you were juggling two people and they weren't actually seeing what you were offering them. They were misunderstanding what, how it was you were coming towards them. They got the feeling that this was just kind of a, a, a joke. I hate to say it like that, but I, I don't think they believed in anything that you were saying and doing. And I believe you were sincere with this person. I do. There may have been a bit of a, a moment where you took a time out, the hanged man. It's actually in reverse, and then you came back. I think you weren't sure about the connection in the beginning. It wasn't feeling like something that you really wanted to give your energy to, or they didn't want to give their energy to. Somebody was definitely confused in this situation. It just feels like nothing but confusion. They're clouding my, my head. I don't feel like I can get any thoughts out clearly. So maybe there was just a, a difficulty in relaying how you were feeling in this situation. Let's get some, some cards on this because they're really not pulling me in a direction, a specific direction. So whoever this was, if they assumed that you were juggling and couldn't see what it was that you were offering them, you can't be responsible for how somebody else is feeling. You know, I feel like they're heartbroken. I really do. 
whatever it was that was keeping you in a place of not being able to make a decision about this person, I think you had to look back and, and see what they could possibly offer you. And it doesn't look like it was enough. I've got the page of cups and in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse. So maybe it was that this person just couldn't offer enough emotionally. This is a very confusing story. All right, let's get some cards. Okay, so the Hermit in Reverse, the Seven of Wands in Reverse, and the Three of Swords. This is how this person felt about you. I think they believed that they were in a third party situation and that when they try to communicate to you about it, this is actually your energy in reverse that you weren't willing to come out and speak with them about what it was that wasn't going right in the relationship. I hate to lay all the burden on you. It could have been the other person that was doing this, but this is their energy. So they definitely had a difficult time communicating to you what it was that they were feeling was going on in this situation. We've got the, in the advice, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is Earth energy. I don't think this person's terribly grounded and you have such a grounded nature. You're not willing to put up with somebody with any kind of uh, lack of direction or lack of motivation or emotional immaturity. And I think you felt like that's how this person was coming towards you and you just weren't willing to put up with it. So I think there might have been some definite heartbreak on this person's side about the decision you made to walk away from them. Let's get a little bit more on what happened in the recent past happened in the recent past with Virgo. Oops. Yeah, you had a tough decision to make, but you made it. Okay. So we've got the judgment in reverse. I think you were talking to people in your family, asking for some advice about this situation because you didn't want to hurt the person. But I think maybe friends and family were telling you that, hey, you know, this person, I'm just getting a, a really young energy that didn't have the equipment, if you will, to be in this relationship. I think you had some discussions with family and friends and you had to make a really tough decision about whether to stay in this relationship. And I honestly believe that you're walking away from it You've made a decision. You're going to walk away. You're not going to have spend a lot of time worrying about how the other person feels. Not that you're heartless about it. I just feel like you know that this is the right thing to do at the time. You know, even if this person didn't feel like you knew what it was that they had to offer or they weren't paying attention to what it was that you were offering. Maybe they weren't paying attention to what you were saying in conversations about what you wanted in the future and you were just tired of, of constantly feeling like you had to explain yourself. So that person's going to be a little bit heartbroken or are heartbroken. So let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards Virgo, September, 2020. What's coming towards Virgo, September, 2020 in love. Okay, so it looks like you're going to, oh, this is great. So it looks like you're going to have plenty of options to choose from because you're looking for your nine of cups. You want ultimate happiness and emotional fulfillment in a relationship. I think you're going to have lots of options. I feel like there's someone who's 
They're giving me the, that I have been watching you. Maybe the person from the past is still checking you out on social media. But there's somebody new. I know this is a, a strange interpretation of the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person might be checking you out. Or several people might be checking you out. And you're going to have lots of options in love. It's just going to make you happy. And when we go back to calling in your soulmate, I think once you open yourself up to the idea that there is a soulmate out there for you and you really pay attention to it, if that's what you want, you're definitely going to attract it. You're not going to have a problem. There'll be plenty of people to choose from. We have many soulmates. I think the right ones come at the right time and you're going to know. I don't think you're going to rush into anything after this. I think you, you don't want to hurt anyone else. You definitely don't want to be hurt, but I just feel like you're focused on the fact that you may have hurt another person and you don't want to do that. So you're going to keep your options open. You're going to be open to love and just look into the future with optimism, knowing that the person that you're looking for is out there. I think that's great. Okay, Virgo, let's get a card from the Lover's Oracle for you to close out the reading. Okay, this is for Virgo for September. Love. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay. So maybe there's been a little bit of a feeling of, oh, I got to get out there. I've got to do it. I've got to put myself out there. I need people to know that I am now available. I want several options. Don't try so hard. Once you put your intentions out, do your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations, it'll come to you. I think this is a situation where you're not going to have to go looking for it. It's actually going to come to you. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much. If you like this reading, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when my next readings are coming out and leave me a comment if this is resonating for you and I will see you in your next video. Lots of love and light. Take care. Bye.